SOLIDWORKS users have been using custom properties for a long time to populate things like title blocks and bills and materials. But did you know that you can customize what you see in the drop down property list? Find out how in this video. Oftentimes it's helpful to keep track of non graphical attributes using custom properties in a SOLIDWORKS file. Many people are familiar with this interface here where I can type in the name of a property I want to keep track of and then type in the value. But we also have this list of pre-generated property names. And what some people don't realize is that you can change this list very easily. A couple different ways you can do that. First of all, not too long ago in SOLIDWORKS, we added the ability to edit this list directly. So if I want to come in here and add my own own um, custom property name, I can add it in the list. And then if I want to, I can also delete ones that I don't want. So for example, this part no and that number, I don't want those. So we have to delete them one at a time through this interface. So I'll delete that one and I'll delete that one. And then maybe I want description to be the first thing in the list just as a convenience. So I'll move that up so that I'm presenting this list of options to the user exactly the way I want to. So now I've done that, you can see here now, this dropdown shows the items I, that I want to have in the right order that I want them. This is great if you want to just change your individual C to SOLIDWORKS, but it's not going to help uh, for the entire company. So we're going to want to do this in a different way. So I'm going to cancel out of here and I'm going to go into our system options and I want to find the location of a specific file that SOLIDWORKS uses to store this list and that can be found under custom property files. Now unlike most of these file locations I cannot have more than one location there's no way to add a secondary or tertiary location it's exactly this location or I can click on it delete it and or edit all to change that location. But here we have by default in SOLIDWORKS 2021, for example, it's gonna be in your program data, SOLIDWORKS and SOLIDWORKS 2021 in this case, Lang English. So basically wherever your SOLIDWORKS installation is, Lang English, that's where this file is going to be. Now that's the default location, which means of course, that it's going to be only on this system. Let's take a look at where this is. We can see in my Windows directory here, I'm in my SOLIDWORKS 2021, my install directory in Lang English, and there is a properties.txt file. And I can double click on this thing and make changes to it really easily. But the thing is, again, making changes to this local file means I will only be the one to see the changes. And again, I like to standardize things, so I'd like to have everybody see the same uh, list of custom property name suggestions. So instead of storing it on my drive, drive locally, um, what I would do is put it on a network drive, a shared network drive, or even if you're working by yourself, I don't like to have these things hanging out in the system uh, installation folder for SOLIDWORKS. I like to put them somewhere else. So in my case, I'm not part of a network. I'm a standalone person, but I do want to put this in a different uh, folder outside of the SOLIDWORKS install folder directory, which in my case is a uh, folder underneath uh, my documents folder called SOLIDWORKS stuff where I have all my custom weldment profiles and my materials and all that stuff. All my sheet formats and, and templates are all in here separate and backed up and totally portable. So the thing you want to make sure of is that you keep the same name. So I'm just going to go ahead and control and drag and drop this in here. I want to keep the original one just in case. But now that I have this in here, I can go ahead and make a bunch of changes. So let's go ahead and make in, let's say, um, I'm going to add in that stock number. And I want to add in maybe customer order. And I want to get rid of a bunch of things like that. And again, you can add in even text stuff like down here. So I could put in those things, uh, material, for example, also, and then I could have in a thing here where it's like, you know, separating it out. So this is like the mandatory stuff. 
and then below it optional stuff. I want to do that. You know, there's here's a text file, right? So I can do this kind of stuff. And if I do this, and I go ahead and save it, and I made changes to this properties that file that I've created in a separate folder. So how do I get my systems all to point to that? Well, you just go back into SolidWorks and change that in your file locations. So under system options, file locations, our custom property files here, and I just go ahead and you can edit it directly or I can just go ahead and delete the one that's already there and go ahead and add. And I'm gonna go right into documents, SolidWorks stuff, and that's all. You're just basically pointing the folder where this is and that's all you gotta do. And I say okay. And now if I go ahead and look at my properties list, we have exactly the properties we want, including our visual sort of demarcations if we wanna do stuff like that. So that's all there is to it, to take control of that list of custom property names so you can customize it, take out a bunch of stuff you'll never use, add in the stuff you wanna use or change, the, the wording if you want, you know, like part no, but part number, do all that stuff. And then my recommendation is to save it externally from the SOLIDWORKS installation structure. Either if you're just a standalone person, put it in some other folder, keep track of all your other stuff. Or if you're in a group, put it on a network folder somewhere and point everyone to it so you can all benefit. So that's how you can customize the property dropdown list for your own computer, as well as for everyone in your company. To find out more information, go to www.gsc-3d.com today.